to another episode of NHL 20 to 1 21 and today we are going to be playing a custom league that I have spent about two weeks on um so let's look through our teams how about that we got the Abbotsford Crimson playing in the Bloody Mirror uh, we have the Atlanta Werewolves playing in Atlanta Arena we have the Belarus Demons playing in Hell. Um, we have the Charlottetown Giants playing at the top of the Beanstalk. We have the Czech Republic Bulls playing in Matador Arena. We have the Denver Assassins playing in the Pepsi Tower. We have the Finland Bandits playing in Finbad Arena. Pun on Sinbad, one of my favorite comedies, haha. Uh, the f new Florida Panthers playing at Florida Arena. We have the Fort Wayne Bucks, which if you don't know where Fort Wayne is, neither do I. I think it's in Indiana. They're playing in the Forest. We have the Fredericton Rabbits playing in The Hole. We have the Gatineau Titans playing in The Dome. We have uh, the Germany Lions playing, Lions playing in Der Tierpark, uh, which is German for the zoo. We have uh, the Kelowna Rebels playing in the Uprising Center. We have the Kingston Fireballs playing in uh, up and playing up in flames. Um, the Kitchener Athletic playing in Grand River Arena. We have the Laval Foxes playing in the Forest as well. So um, yeah, we have the Fort Wayne Bucks and uh, the Laval Foxes playing in uh, the Forest. Los Angeles Sharks playing in the Ocean. The Mississauga Brown Bears playing in the Den. We have CSKA Moscow, which is a real team in the KHL over in Russia. Uh, they play in S CSKA Arena. We have the Niagara Falls Hurricanes, which uh, play at Horseshoe Falls, which is the only part of Niagara Falls in um, Canada. We have the Oklahoma City Snakes playing in the pit. We have yet another team playing in the forest in the Pennsylvania Wildcats. Uh, we have the Prince George Hawks playing in the Nest Over the Cliffs. Sacramento Rockets playing in Sacramento Arena. We have the Saskatoon United playing in the Canada Center. We have the Seattle Space Cadets playing in NASA Arena. We have the St. Paul Minnesota Dragons playing in Mythological Arena. The St. Petersburg SKA, which is actually SKA St. Petersburg in uh, the KHL over in Russia. They're playing at the Ice Palace. We have the Sweden Vikings playing in the Sedin Oj For Forsberg Center, which means Sedin and Forsberg Center in Swedish, I believe at least. Uh, the Virginia Lightn Lightning playing in the Storm Arena. Um, we have the Wichita, and finally we have the Wichita Warriors playing in a cornfield because they're in Kansas. So I've spent some time thinking over it. I already know who we're going to be picking. We are going to be playing as, I'm going to let you guys guess, who we're going to be playing as, okay, well, none of you guys are probably right, uh, we're going to be playing as the Laval Foxes. Uh, I Give me one second as I rearrange our divisions, and I'll have that right out. Alright guys, we have our divisions uh, set. So over here, what was the Pacific Division is now our West Coast U.S. slash Canada teams with the Abbotsford Crimson, the Denver Assassins, Saskatoon United, the L.A. Sharks, the Seattle Space Cadets, Sacramento Rockets, Prince George Hawks, and Kelowna Rebels. And then we have our European slash... No, I think they're all Euro European um, division. Our international division, I'll call it that much. Um, this is our Eastern Canada uh, division, which we are in, as Laval is in Quebec. And then, and this is our Eastern U.S. division. So, for this uh, series, we are going to have fantasy drafts on, and that's about it. Um, I gotta turn on my preset named Sheesh! Um, with injuries off, uh, trade difficulty on easy, because some of these trades are just
crazy. So, and then finally we're going to have Blockbuster trade alerts off, waiver notifications can be on, I guess, trade offer notifications off, those on, high, 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 and high. Alright, that's all we're going to set up for this video. And I think what we're going to do is we are going to... I think we'll go, we'll just draft, um, we're going to... First, we are going to randomize four times. So, one, two, three, four. We get ninth. Okay. We're just going to draft the bare minimum. So, uh, four left wing centers and right wing. So, that's, I don't know what four, four times three. But anyways, and then six defensemen and two goalies. So, we will go until round 20. So, for this, I'm going, for this series, I'm going to go with younger players, like, uh, Elias Pettersson, he's going to be my first pick. A, uh, 21-year-old, 89 overall center, slash left winger. Uh, he only has one year left on his entry-level deal, but still, he's too good to pass up on. Um, so for people who aren't familiar with the NHL games, um, basically there's a couple of different potentials. There's the AHL potentials, and then there's bottom, there's bottom six, top nine, um top six, elite, and then franchise. Um, and you st the players normally are locked in at their potential at the age of 26, 27. Um, so that's a thing. <laughs> um, and there is going to be a lot of things where people are going to get overpaid because it's the NHL. Um, so let's see the goalies. Let's see some of the available goalies. That's a big thing, is you need some good goalies. Uh, let's see. Uh, 27 year old. Who do I want? Who is? I'm gonna go John Gibson on that one. Personally, I normally go for uh, two goalies that are in the same range and overall, so I'm also going to go for another one, but this one's actually going to be uh, Ilya Sh Uh maybe actually, hang on, let me see, <laughs> Carter Hart, he grows like crazy in The Sims I've done, so I'm going to go with Carter Hart, he's six overall lower than our starter, but still, it's it's pretty good for the fact that he is only 22 and our starting goalie is 27. So, um, I believe for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and draft some wingers, probably. Uh, Cole Caulfield, he's one of my favorite players. Uh, he just got drafted uh, in 2019 and just started playing this year. Um, in the NHL. He came from, uh, I believe it was Wisconsin University. I just dropped my controller. <laughs> um, I guess let's go for a left wing. So here's what I do in my gameplay is most left wingers are left handed. So like Max Pacioretty, he's a left winger, he's a left, he's left handed, right? But in this game there's something overpowered, like Jonathan March, so he's a right handed, left winger. Um, right handed people on the left side can do these things called one timers, which are like the only way to score in this game. <laughs> um, so I I put my left wings, uh, the left handed people go on the right side and my right handed people go on the left. So I am actually going to go ahead and get Ooh, do I want Victor Olofsson? He actually might be a decent idea to get. 
either him or Jonathan Duran. Both snipers, both 25 years old. I'm gonna go with Jonathan Druan because he you're extra left. He is making two million more, but he's gonna end up playing right wing because he's left-handed. So let's go for right wingers, and same thing for these. Most of them are uh, right-handed, as right now all of them are left-handed. Oh, Timo Meyer! I forgot about this dude. He's really good. I will go for... Do I want Pavel Buchnevich? No, I'm gonna go Ricard Raquel. I'm passing up on Timo Meyer because he'd just be playing on my second line. and You want a good second line, but he's too good for my second line. Unless he's still there. If he's still there, I'm taking... Yeah, see, he's not there anymore. Now, for defensemen, it's the same thing. I, uh, I put my right-handed defenseman on the left side and my left-handed defenseman on the right on the right side. So, um for these there uh you do want so you get six defensemen and you want to have three of each in my opinion. It just kind of makes it a little more even and like three lefties, three righties. Um so I bl Nick Luddy is a left-handed defenseman. So we're going to take him. Now we know we only need two more lefties and a righty. Or, and three more righties. So what I do is I always go first forward line, then uh, goalies. That's normally. This time I, I went one center and then two goalies. And then left wing, right wing, and defense. Um, but normally that's not what I do. But it was just smart thinking on my part. Uh, Damon Severson, right-handed defenseman. I'm gonna go with Damon Severson. Pretty decent overall, I'll take him. Um, so now, after I get all that first line stuff done, I'm, I'm done with goalies, because I'm only going to round 20 to have a full NHL roster. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get Philip Deneau. Wait, he only has one year left. Let's see if we can. I'm actually gonna get Scott Lawton, I think. He only has one year left, but he probably will still re sign because he's kind of at a lower overall. He would be a decent third line guy if I can find another. Uh, he's also pretty good on. He, he'd he be an alright second liner, so. Let's see, left wingers. Uh, Jason Zucker isn't bad. Andre Pilat, I do like him. I like Andre Pilat. Anders Lee, eh. Who else do we got? Chris Kreider, ooh. Matt Zuccarello, the Norwegian god. Alright. Zach Hyman, he's pretty good, actually. I'm gonna go with Zach Hyman, because he's already right handed on the left, and he's a left winger, so. Um. Now we can get another, like, you know, left-handed... If we can find another left-handed right wing, that'd be amazing. It'll be hard, because most right wing... Oh! Gustav Nykvist, alright. Oh, wait, he's 31. Let's see if we can find a younger one. Yanni Gord, alright. Nino Niederreiter. Riley Smith. Ooh, this guy's actually kind of good. A lot of the lefties, um on right wing are snipers, so I think I'm going to go with uh, Nino Niederreiter. Just pretty good um, second line guy, so now we are going to get our top four pairing in our defenseman, so I'm going to go S Sammy Vatnin. So there are three different kinds of or actually, technically, there's four different kinds of defensemen. Offensive defensemen, two-way defensemen, defensive defensemen, and enforcers. You don't see a lot of enforcers in um, these drafts anymore. Uh, for forwards, there's... Let's see. Uh, 
uh, I believe there's also four big ones of that too. There's also two X. There's also so technically there's six, but those are the uh, so the big ones for forwards are playmaker, sniper, two-way forward, power forward. So those are the those are the big ones, and then you also have some guys uh, that are um, enforcers or grinders. Uh, Jared Hall, he's also righty. I think I have two righties as of right now. Yeah, I do. So we need a left. We're gonna need. We can either get one more righty now, which I think I might end up doing. Or see if I can find a younger left-handed. Alec Martinez is just too old for me personally. I think I'll go with Brendan Dillon for now. So we now have our uh, second, our first second. Uh, we have our all the way up to our second line done, and our top four defense. So we only have two more um, offensive lines to go, and one more D pairing. So. Uh, for centers, uh, I'm going to go with Matt Duchesne. Really good. He'll probably end up being my second line um, center. He's really, really impressive with the points he puts up. Uh, our left wing is going to... We're probably going to go around... Ooh, Ilya Mikhaev. I've I just saw him. This guy, two-way forward, left-handed, so he'll be playing on the right side. I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm gonna go Ilya Mikhaev, 80 overall, not bad for third line. And now, right wing, Josh Anderson, power forward, good for the third line, I will definitely take him. And he's a right-handed player, so he'll be playing on the left side. And then we need two more defensemen. So one more lefty, one more righty. Um, let's see. Uh, 26. Oli Mata. He's a left-handed defenseman. We'll take him. Two-way defender. So now we need a righty. Uh, I don't know who I'd... If I can find someone, probably... I'd say around... 26 or younger would be great for a righty. Um, I'm trying to go for a younger team. Alexiak, I believe, is right-handed. No, he's left. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, Forbort is also left-handed. Great. Uh, how about Nemeth? Nemeth is also left-handed. Why? <laughs> um, I need one more righty. I guess I'll keep looking. Kulak, left-handed. DeMello. Dylan DeMello. That's cool. Alright, you're going. 27 years old, 79 overall. That's not bad for a top six. So now, actually we are going to, I believe we, 18. Um, we're just barely going to squeak to 20, I think. So we are going to get a younger center for our fourth line. Not like I'm not going to get, like, Mikhail, like, uh, this guy, Blake Lazat. I don't know how to say it, but, uh, 22 years old, 78 overall, playmaker. I'll go with him, for sure. So, that's a decent four, fourth line center. 78 overall isn't too bad. Um, and now we're going to go for the left wingers. We also want to go for probably around 24 or younger. A lot of 25 year olds. 23. Here we go. Oh, he's a grinder. I know him. He's not good. You don't really want grinders that much. Um, they're really. They get a lot of penalties, and they. More than likely, it'll just ruin your penalty kill, so that's not what you want to do. So, last pick is going to be on the right wing. Also, I forgot to say, um,. Our last pick was uh, a person. <laughs> I don't remember his name now. Uh, Jace Harlock. I'd l actually kind of like to get a sniper here, like Justin Bailey. Right-handed, 25 years old, 78 overall. 
Let's see if we can find a younger one, a younger player. Um, Abe Kubil, right-handed sniper. I'll go with him. I'll go with Abe Kubil, 24 years old. Alright, that is going to be it for the draft, and yeah, I guess I'll end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it.